Hi and welcome to Chicky Richard Cooking's Harvest Quiche. Whatever you have in your pantry or your garden or your crisper can go into this recipe. The ingredients are in the recipe box below the ones that I have actually used. We're using some Pampas Puff Pastry and we will be using the Kmart Family Pie Maker. Now to a medium heat, we're just going to add a little of our spray oil here so our bacon doesn't stick or ham or roast chicken, whatever you happen to have. And we're just going to brown that and render some of the fat out of it. The rest of the ingredients will be going in after that but I want this bacon to color up a little bit and get started doesn't matter if a couple of the veggies fall in there that won't hurt it at all okay just while that's heating we are just going to chop out our baby spinach now this was growing in the garden less than five minutes ago we've just brought it in and washed it I'm using the stems as well because it's so young and fresh and just put that to one side. I've showed you spinach spanakopita before. I've also showed you spinach and ricotta tarts. But this is using a lot more vegetables. And with the cheese added and the bacon, the kids are going to love it. We get our just four eggs here. Whip them up with some freshly cracked pepper. And we've got our ricotta here. Now we're just going to squash that and mix that in with our eggs. This is quite a smooth ricotta and it's quite firm. So if yours is a bit lumpier, it doesn't matter. Now we're mixing half of our cheese in with that as well. Just grated tasty cheese, about half of that. The rest is going to go on top of our pie. Put that to one side. Now, give this a bit of attention now. And while that's cooking, we will line our pie maker. So this is all in little steps that you can do while one thing's happening and, or another. Okay, we've got our single sheet of pastry here. We are going to cut it with the large side of the pie maker cutter. And the reason that we're doing that is because we're making a family size pie. Now we do not need to put a top on this, but I will be covering the top of it with some baking paper so that it doesn't stick to a pie maker. And these pieces here will re-roll, just stack them on top of each other and re-roll them. Don't so roll them into a ball, just stack them on top of each other and you'll be able to make probably some smaller pies with it or another one big pie with it. Put that to one side. Now we've got our Kmart Family Size Pie Maker here. Just sit it in there like so. I'll use the plastic that comes with the pastry because that will help me push it in and then release from the little guide. So just push it in and then just fetch it out. Remove our plastic. You'll have a little bit of a frill here. Don't worry too much about that. And just put that to one side. It's cold, it's not cooking at the moment. And it's time to send in our onions and some of our other ingredients. The onions can go in now, our capsicum. We've got some chives here. We've got some spring onions here. I'm not using any basil or parsley or, or thyme or anything. Okay, give this a stir around. Now we want to soften this onion and that'll sweeten our mix. It'll break right down, release a lot of the liquid contained within those vegetables. Otherwise it'll make our little harvest peach too juicy. Keep that going for another four or five minutes. Okay, now we're just going to turn our pie maker on now and close the lid and that'll just start to par bake that pastry a little bit while we tip in our remaining ingredients which are our spinach, the remainder of our chives and whatever else didn't make it in last time. Mix that all around. Turn it back a tad. Now we're going to lay this in the bottom of our pie and pour our filling over the top. Sprinkle it with some of the remaining cheese. Give it a sprinkle of paprika. Now you'll notice I haven't put any salt in this recipe because the bacon is really quite salty. But if you are using barbecue chicken or something like that, of course, add some salt. Okay, now we can turn it off now. The par cooking actually reduces a lot of the moisture out of it. You can see that steam coming away. That's going to stop the pie from getting too soggy. Now, we are going to layer half of that mixture in with our pie, which is only just starting to get a bit warm now. Now we layer our ricotta and egg mixture in on top of that. Just scoop this in, just over the top, and you'll find it'll wiggle down through those layers, seal the bottom, and give it a gorgeous flavour. Right to the edges. Okay, make sure everything's covered. Sprinkle of our cheese now, and now we're going to put a piece of baking paper over the top of that, and that will stop that from sticking to that. Okay, now a piece of baking paper over the top of it. Now I'm going to fold it a little bit so it doesn't foul our latch like so close the lid latch it down and that will be cooked in about seven minutes 
Okay, it actually needed about 12 minutes, but there you have it. Poke a knife into the center, and when it's set and there's no liquid left, it's ready to come out. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of paprika to give it a nice bit of color contrast. Smoky paprika, it's also a nice flavor. Okay, just a little sprinkle of some paprika on the top of there. And we're gonna fetch this little fella out now. You're gonna need at least two spatulas to lift it. There you have it. Turn that off now. I'll cook the other one when that cools down a little bit. Cheeky Richard Cooking's Harvest Quiche cooked in the Kmart Family Pie Maker. I just let this settle for a little bit so that it the juices just sort of relax back into that. And then we're going to cut it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we're going to be serving this with a nice crisp fresh garden salad and you'll get four good portions out of this with your salad. And that is what you should have. You see the layers down the bottom there? Smells amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Have a little taste, shall we? You see all the herbs, the vegetables, bacon, all beautifully cooked with pieces of ricotta through the center there. Very economical. This recipe makes two family-sized pies that will serve eight hungry adults. Mm. And tastes delicious. <laughs> Thanks for watching.